Hello everyone, my name is Santiago Garcia and I'm a master student in the physics department of the Universidad del Valle. This is an outgoing collaborating project with John Byron Orejuela and Cesar Valenzuela. Uh, thanks for the organizers for considering my talk. Uh, I welcome to my talk that the title is Scaling Solutions in Generalized Proca Theory and its Cosmological Implications. The main motivations for this work is the new physics that emerged of the well-known tensions of the Hubble constant and the sigma parameters of the lambda seeded model because appears new forms to describe the dark energy or Einstein gravity models uh, that goes beyond of the Einstein gravity. For mentioned once, the dynamical dark energy tried to solve these tensions considering some fluids with equation of a state different to minus one during the battle on evolution. Other for is considering interacting dark energy that considers some interactions between the dark sector, that is interaction between cold dark matter and dark energy. Or uh, some extensions of the gravity models, modified gravity models as well the Hordesky model is the most general description of with equation until second order, based on scalar fields. There are more models that try to solve these tensions, but these three are the main motivations for this work. Is the reason is that some authors have shown that considering dynamical dark energy interacting with cold dark matter, in particular with possible scaling solutions, the scaling solutions are where the dark energy has a similar behavior to cold dark matter during the matter domination and this affects directly in the grow structures. Uh, well, uh, with the scalar fields, it's not enough to solve these tensions, it's possible to alleviate. So, the next step is considered some degrees of freedom more, for example, with uh, vector fields. Uh, if we consider uh, the generalized theory with vector fields coupled, we had the generalized Proca theory coupled to cold dark matter. So the new search is what happened if we consider this theory with the generalized Proca theory uh, with some interactions with cold dark matter. What happened if it's possible and a scaling solution in this theory? So the generalized Proca theory is the most general model based on vector fields that can get equation of motions until second order where is given by this very big Lagrangian and the first term is the typical stress tensor the F is the stress tensor of a vector field the G functions in second Lagrangian to fifth Lagrangian are free functions of the model and these functions depend on the quadratic term and the stress term and the dual stress term where the tile f is the typical dual stress term of a vector field. Here the subscript of these two terms represents the derivative with respect to x uh, and in the next slide if appears the subscript x is the derivative with respect to x. Uh, so, uh, in our work, work, we consider that this model is compatible with the cosmological principle. We need to try to simplify uh, based on the observations, construct the model in order to have uh, less terms that here because there are a lot of terms. So, if we consider the cosmological principle, the line element is the standard friedman lemaitre robinson walker line element or in the background of the FLRW and the profile of the vector field compatible with these symmetries is the when the component zero is the only different to zero and the spatial components are zero and the only dependence is t in order to keep the isotropy uh, such that the quadratic term is the only contribution to the Lagrangian term. If we compute also the tensor perturbations uh, and we found the tensor modes, we can find the, the wave equations for the uh, mode H 
and found that the speed of tensor perturbations is described by this. But from the LIGO observations, we know that the speed of gravitational uh, perturbation is the speed of gravitational waves and is very close to the speed of light. So G4 and G5 need to be constant in order to keep this constraint. Uh, well, if we compare with the Lagrangians, uh, we get this, and the four Lagrangian is proportional to the Einstein-Hilbert Lagrangian. So we can set the G4 exactly to the constant to the Einstein-Hilbert Lagrangian, and the fifth Lagrangian is exactly a boundary term. So this term does not contribute to the dynamics of this model. So if we set G4 like this, we have this, and separating the geometric term from the fluid term, that is the Einstein-Hilbert Lagrangian, is different to the generalized Proch Lagrangian. Uh, the generalized Proch Lagrangian describes only the fluid part and is described in terms of the G2 and G3. Uh, and this is the generalized Proch Lagrangian that we will consider. Well, uh, now we want to add the other fluids in order to have this interaction um, on possible scaling solutions during the evolution. So we add the all standard fluids, the cold dark matter, baryonic terms and radiation terms to the general Lagrangian. And in the cold dark matter, we add a function f in order to express the couple between the dark energy and cold dark matter. And now we want to simplify this Lagrangian more uh, in order to keep uh, scaling solutions. The scaling solutions consider that uh, dark energy is, the density dark energy is proportional to the density of cold dark matter. And simplify this, we can find that the differential equation for the generalized Proch Lagrangian is described by uh, this term in terms of the quadratic term and in the effective equation of state of the fluid during the matter domination. Uh, the scaling condition is mainly valid during the matter domination. Here the equation of state considers the average ponder in terms of the fluid, the equation of state of the fluids, where the weight of this average is the parameter density of each fluid. An equation of state is the standard pressure over density. And the uh, variating with respect to the metric, we can find the standard um, energy stress tensor and verify that the density dark energy is minus G2. Uh, so from this equation, as the equation of state is constant, we can integrate the general Lagrangian, um, the Proch -Lagrangian, generalized Proch Lagrangian and found that the general theory described in terms of an exponential law. Well, uh, taking all this into account, we can compute the variating with respect to the metric in order to get the Friedman equations and the motion equation of the field. The motion equation of the field, it's easy to verify uh, for a particular case of F and G, G2, uh, is exactly the scaling conditions. So now uh, we want to keep the scaling condition or scaling solutions during the evolution. So we try to use the dynamical system approach in order to search this fit point or search these scaling solutions during the evolution. Well, if we consider these dynamical variables where here B squares is exactly the parameter density of the dark energy and we set the functions of the couple and the potential, the general Sproka potential, like this. Uh, we study for this particular case uh, how is the behavior at Badalon level and perturbative level. Well, if we search the fixed points, if we search the fixed points, the, uh, we find the radiation and matter dominations where the stability depends on the parameters in special for the radiation, for the matter is always a satellite. Uh, that is the again values of the Jacobian matrix is uh, positive and negative. So uh, there exist two kinds of dark energy dominations, dark energy of Proca de Sitter because the equation of state is the minus one, is the third line. Um, the scaling fits point or scaling dark energy fits point 
that is the region or the period where the dark energy and cold dark matter sits together and interacting is where the scaling conditions emerge. And so interesting of these scaling solutions or scaling fits point is that this is an attractor when the parameters alpha over lambda is greater than one, uh, like I can see in the we can see in the figure. And when alpha over lambda is greater than one, the solution, the scaling solution, produces accelerated expansions. That is, is could be a um, form of that energy at the late time. And if alpha and lambda uh, has a particular values. Uh, we can say that the attractor conditions uh, go ahead to the initial conditions today, to the parameter density of dark matter 30% and dark energy 70%. And well, we found these fixed points. The question now is: It's possible to keep the all background constraints in the big bang nucleosynthesis recombinations uh, with respect? to the parameter density values and equation of state values. So we compute this and verify that the all background constraints uh, are satisfying. Uh, we found that it says some scaling conditions or a scaling attractor that all constraints in the past are satisfying and the, in the future get to the conditions today, to the uh, dark energy equation of that energy uh, density parameter is 70% and cold dark matter density parameter is 30%. Uh, in the solutions with dark energy as an attractor and scaling condition as an satellite, we found an uh, interacting during the uh, matter dominations and this could affect to the a perturbative level and modify the uh, gravity effects. And in the reasons when the where the uh, scaling solution is not allowed, is a source. Uh, that is when the alpha and lambda are negative, uh, uh, at the sign of plus, uh, alpha over lambda is negative. Uh, this happens that we get uh, dark energy density solutions. It's like lambda CD and battery. But uh, despite these interactions, is not evident in the background evolutions, could affect the perturbative evolution. So if we compute, if we compute the linear perturbations, uh, we can get the equation of the contrast matter. This contrast matter is kind of the couple called dark matter. That is F by rod sub C. And the equations, uh, we get the equation of the contrast matter, the perturbative velocity and the gravitational potentials. And using the Quasi static and sub horizon approximations, we can find the equation of motion for the contrast matter, where the appears two terms, two interesting terms, the, the, in the friction terms appears an extra term of the Hubble drift, a modification of the Hubble drift, that is the derivative with respect to the uh, quadratic term of the potential, the vector field, and in the Tier 10 uh, appears a new or modification of the Newton and constant gravity, an effect in Newton constant gravity. For these effects, appears that if the quadratic term is positive, produce a uh, weaker gravity effects, and if the quadratic term is positive, negative, for, sorry, the quadratic term produce uh, a stronger effects. All, obviously, this depends also of the alpha value and right now we want to compare with respect to the all other bubbles so uh, we know that the if we solve the contrast matter is not enough to consider an other bubble so we compute the rate of growth structures in terms of the parameter of f by sigma a because this parameter is free of bias uh, and if we compute this and compare with the and compare with the other bubble data, uh, it's possible to see that the uh, gravity effects are modified by the effects of the interactions. 
when the scaling solutions emerge, that is the green curve, the gravity effects are stronger than this, the standard lambda CDN and worth the fit in the data. So this is not an option to describe the universe, but if we consider the solutions with the dark energy decitor when the scaling solution is in a source and the dark energy is an attractor, at the background level is like lambda CDM, uh, we found that the effects of gravity are weaker at lab redshift and fit better than lambda CDN uh, with respect to these values, for example, for the minus 0.7 and minus 1.5. These values fit better than the blood curve that is lambda CDM. Uh, so, our main conclusion is that these interactions between dark energy and cold dark matter allow us to modify the gravity effects during the matter dominations, uh, modify how is the growth of a structure in the universe. Um, despite this interaction, the evolution at the background level are really similar to the lambda CDM for some cases and independent of this it's possible to respect the oil background constraints. Um, some prospects is implement a Monte Carlo simulations in order to compute what is exactly the other bubbles, what is the best value for uh, the Hubble constant and the sigma L and if it's possible to solve this tension or at least alleviate. This is expected or hope to uh, uh, the future work of this project. But now uh, these interactions allow us to get a very nice description of the new universe with the modifications that we expect. Modify also uh, the growth structure as the rate of expansion in principle. Um, well, uh, thank you all for being here. Uh, I'm looking for the discussions. Thank you.